this isn't exactly the party I planned, but I sure like the company. So today, I am standing with Senator Obama to say, yes, we can. I couldn't help but notice you're not actually standing with Obama. And that is why we have to help elect Barack Obama, our president. She's not pausing for applause. She's just got a little throw up in her mouth. Check out how Hillary Clinton just cannot look up and smile whenever she mentions Barack Obama is president. That's why we must elect Barack Obama as president. God damn it. And that is why we must help elect Barack Obama our president. And one more thing, please disregard my comments about Obama not being able to beat McCain. <laughs> Oopsie. If yes. it's working, Senator, do you now have a better estimate of when American forces can come home from Iraq? Matt, let me answer that question with a horrible political blunder. No, but that's not too important. What's important is the casualties in Iraq. Americans are in South Korea, Americans are in Japan, American troops are in Germany. That's all fine. Yeah, but we've won those wars. Americans are in South Korea, Americans are in Japan, American troops are in Germany. You know where American troops aren't? America. We will be able to withdraw. General Petraeus is going to tell us in July when he thinks we are. But the key to it is we don't want any more Americans in harm's way. Soldiers in Iraq, but out of harm's way. So what, we withdraw the Iraqis? That way they will be safe and serve our country and come home with honor and victory, not in defeat. Coming home in a wooden box with a flag draped over it is still technically coming home with honor, so he is kind of right. There is dirt and lies that are circulated in email. Wait, so that stuff I ordered won't make my penis bigger? And they pump them out long enough until finally you, a mainstream reporter, asks me about them. And then that gives legs to the story. Um, yes, Barack, Barack. Uh, you're right. These rumors are terrible and the media is horrible. Uh, one question. Your jihadist wife has pledged to kill Whitey. Simply because something appears in an email, uh, that should lend it no more credence than if you heard it on the corner. Unless, of course, the email involves a money offer from Bill Gates or a favor for a Nigerian prince. We're going to travel all over the state of Pennsylvania, and we're going to go to the small towns in Pennsylvania, and I'm going to tell them, I don't agree with Senator Obama. Why is Obama ducking the town hall meetings? Watching McCain, it's like, it's like Mr. Magoo. It's like walking around like, oh, McCain, you've done it again. And I'm going to tell them, I don't agree with Senator Obama that they cling to their religion and the Constitution because they're bitter. Yeah, Obama didn't say that they were going to cling to the Constitution in the small towns. If they did more clinging to the Constitution, they would actually be concerned about having their votes counted. And I'm going to tell them, I don't agree with Senator Obama that they cling to their religion and the Constitution because they're bitter. Hooray! McCain is going to be traveling all over Pennsylvania in his Taking Things Out of Context tour. This notion that John McCain's peddling, which is sort of the standard uh, fare out of Republican candidates. What happened? What is he, taking speaking lessons from Al Gore? So apparently the Michelle Obama's fist bump activates his great speaking skills. Because that didn't happen here. Uh, it, it's just, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to get to the economics question. I, it, it's, no, I wasn't going to ask an economic question. I was going to ask where the hell your tie went. Uh, fair out of Republican candidates that somehow Democrats are interested in tax and spend. What Democrats are really interested in is infighting and losing elections. I don't regret it at all. Removing Saddam Hussein made the world a safer place. And uh, yeah, I told the guy, I said, you know, what could you do over? First of all, you don't get to do things over in my line of work. What line of work do you get to do things over? Time traveler, eraser maker? Uh, but I could have used better rhetoric to indicate that one, we tried to uh, you know, exhausted diplomacy in Iraq. Two, that uh, I don't like war. I don't like war, you see. That's why I never fought in one. Um, but no, the decision to remove Saddam Hussein was the right decision. Asking Bush to show regret is like asking Dane Cook to do his funny material. It's just not in there.